I first met Kyle in the seventh grade at Tyson Junior High School, where he came along with two of his friends from grammar school, Billy Bell and Wayne Miller. Even as a young man in the seventh grade, I found out very quickly that Kyle was a determined individual. He was determined to get over the problems he had with polio. He joined the YMCA and he would go two or three times a week to the Y and work out, trying to strengthen his legs and swimming. He also played basketball for the Y Pirates at the Y. From Tyson, he went to Knoxville High School, where in Knoxville High School, he played on the 1951 state championship basketball team of Knoxville High. His next year, he went to Macaulay Military School in Chattanooga, where he played basketball and broke the school scoring record. I think that sometime I had something to do with that because I would throw him the ball all the time and I seldom ever got it back. <laughs> and we were not the best students in that military setting at Macaulay. In fact, we had to walk off demerits on the day we graduated. <laughs> in 1952, Kyle entered the University of Tennessee, where again he played on the basketball team and also was a tremendous tennis player, as all of you know, at the University of Tennessee. However, one year we found time to take a little time off. He and myself and two other guys, and we went down to Florida, like a lot of students do, and on spring break. But somehow, we found ourselves over in Havana, Cuba, with, without parental permission. <laughs> and I always remember when we got back to the States, to Daytona Beach, Kyle talked to his mother, God bless her, and she told him that he was grounded when he got home. And he took it well, and he just sat there and said, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. After graduation, Kyle began his career as an attorney specializing in real estate title insurance. However, it was not long before he heard the call to become a public servant. And all of you, I think, know out there that Kyle served the city of Knoxville as a councilman first, and then he was elected to two different terms as mayor. His accomplishments were numerous, such as, although they would put it on the back of the program, but I'll read two or three of them, the consolidation of the city and, and county school system was a great thing for the, this community. The transfer of the city's wastewater treatment plant and operations to Knoxville Utilities Board. Working with his county, Knox County counterparts, they planned and developed and constructed the city-county building that we now have. And fourth, he was big in the redevelopment of downtown Knoxville, as most of you know, and in the old city. And then also he was responsible for actually the, uh, a lot of the planning and construction of the Whittle Communications complex that we have now today that's the federal courthouse, as most of you know, and also the TVA towers. In conclusion, though, I would like to tell you about another side of Kyle that I knew. In addition to being a born leader, he was a generous and thoughtful man. 
I cannot tell you how many times one of his associates would tell me about when some family that was in need needed some funds or needed some, something, you know, to have their life a little bit better, but Kyle would reach into his pockets and provide for that family in question anonymously.